Hi guys, and welcome back to Bite Size Excel. In this video, I'm going to take a look at a question that was asked to me by a colleague earlier this week. They had a list of dates, and they wanted to know how they could find which quarter of the year it fell into. Now they had this working in a rather complicated formula, so they could pull out if the fiscal year ran from January to December. However, they couldn't work out a method of doing it for a fiscal year that ran from April to March. Now in this video, I'm going to show you my preferred method of doing this and how to get it working when you've got a year that's not January to December. So I'm going to start with the generic formula that I use. And I'm going to build this up slowly. So starting with the month, you can pull out from a date what month it falls into. So if I were to go month and then select my date and hit enter, you'll see that that falls into month one. And if I were to drag my formula down, it's pulling out the month of the year all these dates fall into. Now to change that to quarter, what we do is we wrap this up in a round up formula. So we're gonna put round up, we're gonna put in the month, we're then gonna divide that by three, and we want our round up to be to no decimal places. So essentially, this is taking our 12 months, dividing it by three, because there are three months within each quarter. So we're going to close our brackets and hit enter. And then we're going to copy this formula down. And you can see now the first and the third are in quarter one, fifth and the sixth in quarter two, seventh, eighth and ninth are all in quarter three, and tenth, eleventh and twelfth in quarter four. So that formula is working as we would expect. So if we wanted it to return a Q1 instead of just one, what we're going to do is we're going to copy this formula across. And at the front, what we're going to do is in inverted commas, we're going to put in a Q and then an ampersand. And hit enter. You now got Q1. And we're going to drag it down. Now we need to come up with a way to update this formula so we get a result for, for a fiscal year that doesn't run from January to December. So in this example, we're going to use from April to March. So we're going to, again going to just copy in our formula. And what we want to do is we want to take this formula and we want to add three months onto it because April is three months after January. And we're going to hit enter and we're actually going to update that so that is a number rather than a date with no decimal places. So as you can see, we would expect January and March to fall into quarter four. So if we drag this down, so the easiest way of doing this is to wrap this up in an if function. So we're going to say if this roundup is equal to four, we want it to return Q4. However, if it doesn't equal that, we're going to copy our formula again up to the three. And we're going to want to return the Q. So we're going to say Q and percent our function. But then because it's returning five, six, and seven, and we want to instead return one, two, and three, we need to at the end take away four. And we're going to close our brackets and hit enter. So we now get Q4. And if we were to drag this function down, you can see that it now returns Q1, Q2, and Q3 for the April to June periods, the July to September, and the October to December respectively. So this is quite a simple, relatively succinct function to return the results that you might want. So this video has covered my preferred method of getting this result to return. If you've got any other suggestions, I'd love to hear about it in a comment. Remember, as always, to like and subscribe. And I do look forward to seeing you in a future video.